So in this video, I want to talk specifically about approaching. I want to have almost like a little fireside chat about approaching and my philosophy and my view on approaching, flirting, and having fun with women and people in general and why it's so important. And if you stick around to the end, um, I'm going to explain to you why I think this one skill set can actually uh, have a huge effect on your happiness in the world, uh, in general happiness, uh, women aside, dating aside, and how much effect it can have on, on really setting you free as a human being and as a man. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. The reason I wanted to talk about this today was specifically because I've been out for the last few days here in Miami, we're in Brickell. Uh, we're not over in Brickell, we're in Miami Beach, but we were out in Brickell uh, flirting and playing around. I've been hanging out with Anthony a lot lately and I was out with Anthony and Sam the last few days. And we've been flirting and saying hi to people and specifically saying hi to some beautiful women, uh, approaching women on the street. And what I came to realize as we were out that as I kind of pondered my old way of being many years ago, that for me, going out to approach is not really even going out to meet women anymore. It is. I mean, I want to meet a girl. I want to have a great date. I love doing that. And sometimes I set that intent. I want to meet a woman for a date or I want to get an instant date or something like that. But when I go out and I surrender to the moment, it's about having fun. It's about flowing. It's about making people smile. It's about making people laugh. Yeah, particularly women, but sometimes I meet a dude that's really cool and we laugh together and have a good conversation. Sometimes I meet a little old lady and I make her laugh. Sometimes I see two or three girls sitting over there that just, they're just waiting to be spoken to and they, they, they just want some attention. And maybe you're at a little bar or somewhere and you can feel it. And you see, you just go over and you make them smile a little bit. You see, it's about creating good energy and good vibe as you go through the day. I'm not a big believer that you can't do, like some people are like, oh, you just should only be direct and be direct with women. Well, be direct if direct is the right approach for that moment. Be indirect if indirect is the right approach for that moment. Have fun is the primary thing. Bring really good emotions and feelings without sacrificing who you're being as a man. The other day I was out, this keeps coming up on the YouTube channel. Somebody said to the effect of, uh, I was talking in my blame video specifically about the idea that we get a lot of clients when they first start approaching, they come up with all kinds of excuses. They blame the outside world for their not approaching. They, they blame their beliefs, they blame their stories, they blame their mom, they blame their dad, they blame their how they're raised, they blame society, they blame women. And then when we start to go out and talk and socialize, I'll point out different women and people they can go talk to. Now this person has minimal experience approaching, minimal experience talking to women, minimal experience being free from outcome. And he'll say, no, no, she's too ugly. And in his mind, he's visualizing ending up in a relationship with this girl and I don't want to be with her. Sometimes it's just an excuse. She's not too ugly because I know later after he drops all the stories and starts to break them up, suddenly these same types of women become attractive to him because he no longer has a story coming up. Sometimes it's true. This is not the type of girl I want to date. But either way, you can socialize, flirt and play and have a good time and practice. You know, you need to get your reps in being social. If you have trouble talking to anybody on the street, the little old man, the little old lady, the girls you don't find cute, how are you gonna have do well at talking to the women you really find cute? You know, you gotta learn to build a skill set, a skill set of being able to socialize, that talk. You don't have to be gregarious and huge, but you do need to be able to talk to people. And so that's what I'm looking for when we go out. I'm looking to get somebody who has been closed off and protective of himself for years, socializing, saying hi to people, and then eventually going direct with women, women that he finds attractive, eventually saying, you know, there's something about you. I just had to some, come say hi. Now, if he, if you've reached the point where you're really good at dating, you're really solid, you've got it down, you don't need, you can approach it will, you can just kick back and look for a woman you like. And, and if that's your goal. But me, I will never stop making people smile. I was out yesterday and this really interesting thing happened. I met this girl actually two days ago. It was in, in Brickell. I met this beautiful woman. I went up and approached her and she got, she blushed and I blushed. We had a great conversation. We walked and talked for a while. It was spectacular and I really enjoyed it. But she was a little tight and with her energy, but she, she, we really liked each other. It was really beautiful. And then a day later, I went back to this same area and I was walking along and I was a little heavier today. I'd been, uh, something was going on and I was thinking about some stuff and I was like, I got to open up a little bit. And my friends were with me and, uh, Sam and Anthony and uh, 
I see these two cute girls down at the end of this walkway. They're kind of ways away, all in black. And I thought to myself, well, two, two women, I couldn't even tell how cute they were. From the distance, I was like, I don't think they're really my type. But something inside me, my gut brain, kept saying, go talk to them, go talk to them. And I said, okay, I'm going to listen. I'm just going to listen to intuition and gut. I go talk. That's, that's the way it works. As soon as I got out of the car, I talked to the first attractive woman I saw. I threw her a compliment. She was looking great. She wasn't very receptive at that moment. I just got out of the car from uh, the Uber. So then we're rolling along and talked to a few more people. And then I see these two. And I go, hold on, I'll be right back. So I walk all the way down, there's a ways down. And I walk up to them and I can see right away, they're not really my type, but for some reason I needed to talk to them. So I just go in and direct. I was wondering where the All Saints was anyway. So I asked them, hey, do you ladies know where the All Saints is? You're both in black, you obviously like black. All Saints is all black, right? Or whatever I said, I don't remember, I'm paraphrasing. And they started laughing and giggling. I did a little push pull, played. And, I, and one was from Brazil and I was like, oh, I've always wanted to go to Brazil. The other one's from Venezuela. I said, I don't want to go to Venezuela. Like, you, <laughs> you know, you could, I'm sure Venezuela is beautiful, but I have no interest. She laughed. Nobody wants to go to Venezuela. And we started to joke some more. Within a minute, two minutes, I don't know how long the conversation was, maybe five, seven minutes. I don't know how long it was. The Brazilian girl became way more attractive. Something about her, her smile, the way she talked, the way she flowed. I really enjoyed talking to her. Not my usual type, but in her charisma and her personality and her smile and her way of being, very attractive. And it won me over. Next thing you know, I did want to go hang out with her. I got her information, went on, and, and we've traded a few texts, and it's been awesome. Now, I just want you to know that if you start to sit there and have all kinds of excuses why you can't talk to this person, that person, and you can't say hi to these people, or this crowd of people is wrong, or that person I should avoid, you're really holding yourself back. Because the more I practice highs and then subtler highs and vulnerable highs and then stops with all kinds of people, I practice making people smile. I don't do it 24 hours a day, but I have my on periods and my off periods. The more free from outcome I become, the more I'm able just to dance in the streets, sing at will, make people laugh at will, be spontaneous, throw out a compliment as a girl's going by that's so natural, I don't even realize I'm doing it till the words are coming out of my mouth. She walks by, the girl, the girl t two days ago, she had a beautiful sleeve up her arm. She's going out, I was like, oh, I didn't even realize I was saying it till I said it, oh man, I love your sleeve. And she lit right up, why? Because it was so genuine and so real. And I said, that was, I think I said like, that's a badass tattoo, that's a badass sleeve that is. And then I, and something like that, and then she responded. The waitress that came over to me that was serving at the Italian restaurant across the street, and she came over and immediately said, oh, you, <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but I said, she was smiling. I said, oh, if you keep smiling like that, I'm, I'm not gonna let you leave. Well, as a matter of fact, pull up a chair, just sit down with us. And she's like, I can't, I'm working. And she goes, but I'm off at nine. And then she ran off and she was giggling and laughing as we were flirting. And it was playful, it was fun. I wasn't trying to actually get her to sit down. And she knew that. I was playing with her f a flirt. And then if we want to continue that flirt later, we can and we see where it goes because I'm free from outcome. Sometimes I don't even realize that stuff's coming out of my mouth. Now, other times I'm more closed and I'm more reserved. If you come to a workshop, you might notice that if I'm working all day on, on, on in the room, sometimes on the breaks, I'll be a little more reserved hold back because I'm recharging my battery, getting ready for the next round of talks and demonstrations. If I do that and I do decide to turn on, I can turn on, but I am reserving my energy. And that's because I've had years of practice of turning the energy on. So what I want to invite you into is this idea that as you become more free from outcome, you begin to go out to just have fun and flirt and socialize and with the intent, yeah, to meet women, but ultimately to make a lot of people smile too and start to have a good time and figure out what that is for you, your approaching is gonna go a lot better. And then when you get failures, when you get people that reject you that are cold, it'll wash right off your back. You can laugh with your friends, you can move on. Because sometimes those same failures, you run into them later, and I've talked about this before too, and they wanna to talk to you. It's really interesting, but they're suddenly open 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, it happens all the time. Sometimes you walk up, somebody's rude, you talk to them for two or three minutes, and then they open up like, beautifully and they're so happy and I've had that happen too. So if you're liking this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification, put a comment in. We love those comments and make sure to share. It really help us to grow the channel so that we can continue to bring you awesome, awesome content. Now, 
Hopefully you're getting my perspective on approaching and why it's so important. This is something I can do forever. It does, even if I fall in love with a beautiful woman which and marry her, I don't have to stop going out and being social, making people smile, making people laugh, putting energy out. It has such a powerful return on investment, it's incredible. The more I go down and make people laugh and make people smile, the more I feel good throughout the day. I give away and then energy comes back. And to me, that is one of the greatest gifts this skill set has ever given me. On top of that, I'll give you one more little selfish one. I figured out early on that really good banter skills, cocky, funny skills, playfulness, like teasing and playfulness skills is kind of a man's equivalent of having a tits and ass. <laughs> to be to be blunt sexy girl that's tossing her hair has got all the right push-up bra and the makeup and everything and all the guys are kind of looking at her and people want to well i found really quickly that when i would go out and tease push pull play that women and even dudes when you're joking with them and, and ball busting with a dude start wanting to give you stuff Suddenly they move you up in line. Suddenly they give you free food. When I first figured it out, I was going to this fast food restaurant and I was terrified to do all this. I was shaking inside. And I started teasing and bantering, little pushes. And immediately the girl gave me a free drink. After, she, after we had a little push-pull banter exchange, she handed me a free drink. Then I came back and then it was free food. And then there was more free food. Then I was doing it with three of the women in there. And I was kidding. I remember one time I went through the drive-thru, they gave me my whole meal for free. And the woman said, just take it, just take it. And I, so I left and I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. Again, learning these skill sets just adds so much color and fun and flavor to your life. When they're not analytical, when they're not contrived, when they're coming from feeling, when they're coming from embodiment. So really take that in. and. This is ultimately what I was talking about in the beginning. This can set you free on so many levels. And getting good at this can get you better pay, better jobs, better, better everything as far as I'm concerned. So that's really it. It's really more of my casual video inviting you into this idea of how I see it. And uh, I want to do more on this and see if I can somehow bring this idea home to you. And to help you become better at this skill set, definitely check out my basic approach series that there's a playlist for, the five video series I did on the basics of approaching. Go through that, practice that, really get down the push-pull section and use that as a stepping off ground to continue to grow and learn. And with that said, also make sure to continue to follow Anthony's videos on Fearless Fridays on all the little subtleties he's teaching that he uses around his flirting and approaching too. So hopefully, again, you've enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. As I said before, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, share. That would all be awesome. We really appreciate it. And remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.